All right, really quickly, here's a look at some intervals that we use to substitute for chords, as opposed to rhythmically strumming an A chord, for instance. We might play instead of that two of the notes in the chord, the one and the five, that makes an interval we call the fifth, and it's often referred to by the letter name in the five, this could be called A5. Sometimes it's called a power chord, though it is not a chord, it's an interval. You need three notes to make a chord. So there's the A sound. I'm using the open A string and the fourth string, second fret, play with finger one. You can see right there. Yeah. Okay, so the same thing on the next pair of strings, the open D string and the second fret of the third string. It's going to give us a D5, and similarly on strings 6 and 5, where we have the open E string and finger 1 on the 5th string 2nd fret, there's an E5. Well, after 5, of course, comes 6, and these uh, numbers refer to the notes of the, the Do, Re, Mi scale that we all learn in school, which we could also think of by numbers as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, or 1 again. So what we're looking for here now is to take this interval of a fifth, and often that's used in rock music, but in, in blues especially we hear this alternation of the fifth and the next step up to sixth, a whole step higher, back and forth. Observe that my first finger is not moving this one, right? It's anchored right there on the second fret. I'm just adding and taking away finger three on beats two and four of the measure. So if we're thinking one, two, three, four, it's one, two, three, four. First finger, third finger, first finger, third finger, always beginning with finger one down the fifth. We can do the same thing again on the D and G strings. And on the sixth string and the fifth string, the E sound. And that's coming back to the A again.